1370 WOCA. Twenty-five minutes before ten o'clock, and it looks like it's turning out to be an okay day. Seventy-one degrees right now. If you or somebody you know is looking for a job, you might want to write this word down: career source. Sounds like two words, but it's one word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> career source: Citrus Levy Marion specifically. Laura Burns uh, brings us information about career source and the opportunities that they are offering, um, the job opportunities that would be. And uh, always remember that career source is free for both people looking for jobs and. Uh, employers looking for talent and I think that's what we're going to learn about today is the talent uh, good morning Laura how are you good morning I'm fine thank you very much and you're looking nice you uh, it's November 2nd it I, better cool down I, so. oh, better cool down <laughs> better cool down. yeah by Friday is this they say it'll okay great. a little bit I'll take like it. eight degrees or something it's any better. anything better than nothing yeah absolutely How come I don't hear you so well there's something with no. your mic am I not on two three four there you testing, are. Okay. testing. There you go. There okay. you go. There you go. Uh, so, what is new with Career Source? Anything? Well, uh, our guest today, uh, you know, I've been here a couple times. I think Jerry has been here as well. And we've talked about our new affiliate brand, Talent Center. And that's that uh, joint venture between Career Source and the College of Central Florida. Uh-huh. So, our guests today will focus on Talent Center and how that offers a, a different level of services uh, of, and a different targeted audience. And, and that is a I mean, Talent Center is amazing. I, I wish my office were down there. My <laughs> office is like, mm-hmm. ring, ring, 1995 is calling and wants its furniture back, you know? It's like, but <laughs> Talent Center is just beautiful. I love it. Um, but I'm going to turn that over to them very shortly. But before I do so, you know, I like to do a little roundup right, of right. all things career source. And uh, last time I was here uh, it was a couple days before the monthly jobs report came out. So I just wanted to recap, folks. Uh, the jobs report came out on October 24th first and our uh, unemployment rate for the region really stayed the same 6.1 percent that was the same as in August but in Marion County we saw more than a thousand additional jobs over the month which is great and the number of jobless it did go up a little bit but only by 129 so we far outpaced uh, the jobless rate with uh, three no gosh five 10 times as I don't know I can't do the math I'm not that mm-hmm. sharp on a Wednesday morning but uh, far more uh, new jobs than uh, unemployed folks so our labor force expanded and that is a fantastic thing so also uh, you've heard me say it before but again and I think this is the 16th consecutive month that Marion County the Ocala MSA uh, we had the third strongest job growth rate in manufacturing amongst all of Florida wow. metros wow. and the fourth strongest in in education and health services so uh, you know really robust there we do have a hiring event uh, coming up and isn't this brilliant I believe it's on November 7th I didn't put the date down but you can find it on our calendar at careersourceclm.com manpower is hiring some document indexing and filing clerk positions really? and that will be from 9 to 12 at our Ocala Career Center and we have a couple uh, uh, workshops uh, I think are very interesting navigating today's world of work will be on November 8th and election day so if you haven't done so go out and vote then go to the workshop <laughs> or go to the workshop then yeah. go out and vote yeah, yeah. and nail that interview on November 10th and and this young man next to me instrumental in developing those workshops he's now over at Talent Center really coordinating so many uh, workshops over there a new uh, refocusing and re- what reconnect, reconnecting and reconnect. for professionals um, so on that note I'm going to turn it over to Jerry and Jerry. All right. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Jerry Flanders and Jerry Phillips. Thank you for coming in uh, from the Talent Center. One of the things that Laura said that is my first question is uh, that you have a different targeted audience than than Career Source might have. What does that mean? What, who is your audience? Um, our audience is uh, degreed professionals. Um, highly skilled professionals, highly skilled individuals. So we're, you know, looking at college graduates, professionals in transition, people moving back to our area at at a degree level. So this audience hasn't really been targeted with career source before, so this is our main focus. Um, Looking at how we would um, serve 
um, people like that and serve the community like that. So we're missing, in our community, we're missing, um, we're always looking for highly skilled individuals, so this is what our target is. So we're going to do a deeper candidate search for those individuals. Um, and we have developed a customized online portal, talentcenter.org. So this is an online portal that uh, Again, mm -hmm. college graduate, professional transition, can upload their profile or resume to the portal. Um, you can upload a picture or a little bit about yourself. It integrates with Google Maps mm -hmm. and LinkedIn. And also our businesses in our community can upload their job description. And uh, people can apply. So this, this talent portal is just for uh, this um, degree professionals is what we're looking at. Um, uh, we have a different recruitment strategy. Um, I would say that we're doing um, a more executive, like, a, like an executive research firm, except at no cost. All our services, like they are a Career Center, wow. are at no cost. Wow. Yeah, so the Talent Center, we're an affiliate with uh, Career Source, and we're a partnership with the College of Center Florida, and our offices are located at the College of Center Florida. Okay. As Laura said, beautiful offices. <laughs> Uh, high-tech um, uh, offices, all the amenities that any career seeker could ask for in there. Um, our online portal, we do have relationships with our other business development of, um, team. We have a business development team with each sector, so in manufacturing, logistics, uh, healthcare. So we, co we coordinate with them. Um, for instance, if we have an, a, manuf a manufacturing needs uh, an IT position, we can coordinate with them. So our target would be, or, or an operations manager. So our target, our, our focus would be on that level of candidate. So we have um, a greater access to that level of candidate to be able to help everybody else in the community. Okay. So now somebody mm -hmm. w with a degree typically is on the prowl for however they can use that degree if they're, if they're not working already. But those who are already working often also have their radar up looking for maybe to, to change jobs or change paths or something. Are they, uh, in both cases, can they use the talent of, center? Of course, of course. I mean, a lot of the time the economy is a lot better than it was now. So we yeah. did have professionals um, taking jobs maybe that wasn't at their comfort level. And certainly that's what we're looking at, of course. If, and, oh, oh, yeah? I just want to briefly interject. It's not that... Um, Prior to Talent Center, we did not work at all with degreed individuals or employers who are looking for degreed individuals. It just was all part of the general population, uh -huh. and Talent Center really pulls that out, breaks that out, and does a deep dive, hones in on that um, population. So we're still working with everybody at Career Source, but um, if you are highly technically skilled, professional level, you want to go to Talent Center. But let me add this, because I'm on the talent development side of that. Our outreach on campus really serves those three areas. First of all, for employers that are looking for immediate talent, skilled talent, our professionals in transition, those are individuals that have a rich work history. They've been in high cotton. They've done exceptionally well. They find themselves at a point where they're looking to reinvent themselves in today's world of work. So they're a rich source for employers for those skilled talent that they're looking for um, and we work with them to help them in their marketing uh, and being prepared for today's interviews so that's a big focus and while we've always worked with those uh, professionals Talent Center provides really the optimum uh, business professional setting, the resources that will allow us to market them, and talentcenter.org, our new talent exchange portal that will be more seamless, if you will, in uh, allowing them to market themselves and us uh, working with them in that regard. I think the other piece, uh, our outreach on campus is mm -hmm. specifically for providing career services to uh, college graduates uh -huh. now and through throughout their careers and so just as you said some of those are individuals that are just receiving their degree they're looking now uh, to leverage that degree and market themselves so talent center and our portal is a prime place for that but as you know College of Central Florida is a place where a lot of mid-career individuals come to finish the degree They've got some work history, and now they're looking to ramp up their careers. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so we're in a perfect place to work with them, coach them, if you will, and guide them in what they need to do to improve their marketability. So that's another source for employers. And then to th for employers thinking about the future, then, of course, students are a perfect place for them to look to for 
internship opportunities, and I might say they become the workforce of the future. So we work with uh, the professors and instructors and those students to begin to get them thinking of skills that they'll need eventually uh, to e enter the world it's of work. It's amazing what we have here in Ocala. Uh, we need to take a little break. Uh, Laura Burns is here from Career Source, and Jerry Flanders and Jerry Phillips are here from the Talent Center. And uh, if you or somebody you know is looking for a job, pay attention to this information because it's all free. And, I, and I'm curious when we come back to find out about the talent development part of what you talked about, Jerry. So we'll take a little break and be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Watch for rough surf and strong rip currents at the coast over the next few days. Wednesday will be warm with intervals of clouds and sun, along with a passing shower, high 81 to 85. Clear to partly cloudy wind tonight, low 61 and a few inland spots near 70 along the coast. Thursday, clouds and sun with a stray shower, high 81 to 85. For Friday, times of sun and clouds with a shower or thunderstorm from late morning on, the high 80 to 84. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. There are only a few things in life that you can be certain will always be around. Death, taxes, the pursuit of happiness, and computers. As they continue to advance at an epic pace, the one absolute certainty about them is that they'll break. It's not an if, it's a when. And when it happens, bring it to the only company in Ocala that's certified in Apple and Microsoft, Ocala Mac and PC Repair. They even offer on-site computer repair service, so they come to you. And if you do drop it off, you can check your repair status online. Ocala Mac and PC Repair is a family-owned and operated company that can do everything from mobile repair to wireless networks, fixing viruses, data recovery, even building and installing new systems. Visit online at OcalaMacPC.com. In person, 1713 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Or give them a call, 352-566-8324. That's 352-566-8324. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. Hey everybody, did you know that there is a black bear sanctuary right here in the Ocala National Forest? While FWC has postponed the bear hunt this year, there are still perils that these magnificent creatures face. Forest Animal Rescue is finishing their state-of-the-art sanctuary on 80 acres in the Ocala National Forest. The last phase of construction is the on-site clinic to help with bear cub rehabilitation and release. Forest Animal Rescue is a 501c3. Your contribution is entirely tax-deductible. Visit forestanimalrescue.org. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Gene and Debbie would like to thank you for another successful year of business. We want to wish everybody a safe, healthy, and prosperous 2017. We are ready to be of service with our pasture mowing. 352-629-2440. Locally owned and operated. Experienced and reliable. Commercial and residential. Licensed and insured. Powell Gene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. 352-629-2440. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. 352-629-2440. Proud United States veteran. All right, 12 minutes before 10 o'clock. Let's return now. Laura Burns, Jerry Flanders, and Jerry Phillips are here. We're talking about job opportunities and, and career development, talent development. Uh, Laura, of course, from Career Source, and uh, Jerry Flanders and Jerry Phillips from the Talent Center. Jerry Flanders, you mentioned something about um, talent development. How exactly does a person who has a degree mm -hmm. um, develop their talent? How, do you, how does that work? I mean, do they take more classes? Do they... Do they intern somewhere? How does that happen? It can be a combination of all those. So, so let me uh, kind of shape, if you will, the four key areas that we work with individuals, whether they're students or graduates or professionals. Think about this. It's reminding them uh, and, in some cases, providing the tools to help them develop the soft skills that employers are looking for. Uh, really important uh, in regards to making sure that they come across friendly and have the skills that tell an employer oh. that they can. Oh, that sounds harder than learning, <laughs> yeah. getting the degree. Yeah, it's yeah. the biggest they problem. Play well in the sandbox together mm -hmm. and be effective in a team base. Ah, so, I gotcha. so soft skills is a big piece. Resume development, obviously, is essential to marketing yourself. We have a team of certified professional resume writers that work with our students and our professionals in transition to help sharpen them up and uh, get them focused on a job-specific basis. 
Okay. Um, in addition to that, social media is really critical for uh, for a more mature audience, our professionals in transition. Many of them have been successful without being connected to social media, but being connected in today's environment lets an employer know that there are technology and social media savvy. So we teach them that. Now for the younger students, the graduates and the, the college students, uh, what we're talking about there is social media appropriateness, so they're not posting things right. on Facebook and eventually right. LinkedIn that would discourage an employer for wanting to work with them. And then the last of those pieces is getting ready for today's interviews. You know, it used to be if you could get to the interview that you could easily think that that job is yours. Today you get to the interview and you find out the competition is even keener yet. So uh, the strategy today is really about nailing today's interview and hopefully getting the job offer. If you can put your headset on, oh, no, we don't have a call. I, th I thought we had a call. We did, and, and it disappeared. The the, uh, the talent development part of that, um, if I could ask it, kind of a follow-up question, the the personality trait part, that mm -hmm. seems to me, that's that's almost unchangeable for some people. Or is it is it a situation where they don't know? Uh, like maybe yeah. I don't, I didn't realize I looked like a... Oh, like I was angry all the time. I, I've heard that before. I didn't realize I looked angry yeah. all the time. People will say that. Not to me. But. <laughs> I agree. I think people don't know. I don't think they, they don't realize how they're coming across. They don't realize. Um, we were just talking about some employees that the communication skills are missing. That's something that we can help them develop. How to even write an email, um, how to come across an interview, how to, how to dress for an interview. Um, and so if they're coming into the talent center and they're working with all professionals in the talent center, right. then we can market them out to employers so I, we have a relationship with them I have a relationship with them so I can you know make a good fit to the employer we have screened them we have vetted them they've had an interview process if appropriate we've had assessed them like approve it testing so their skills on the resume are tested they actually have the skills that they have so we're delivering a comfortable applicant or a candidate to an employer the, the candidates are comfortable and it's a good fit for the employer so we've gone through that process and I, I think know. that is just so critical a point uh, Jerry is that for the employers to know that these are vetted candidates they're absolutely they're, yes. we are going to run them through the hoops before they go to you so that is good to they're know. assessed and they have the skills they actually possess the skills they say do, they do for the employers yeah. when uh, professionals move over here from other countries and become U.S. Uh, uh, citizens, do you help them get their certifications in their field of expertise like physicians or attorneys, things like that? We can help with certifications. Um, it, it does depend on the certification. Um, to be honest, and it, it depends on the individual. There, we can help sometimes financially. Um, it, it depends on what, what their need is. We can help them through the process of getting a certification. Mm -hmm. um, possible if you they do qualify for our the under the career source umbrella of services, we do have funding for certain certifications. If they qualify, we can certainly help with that. Does the does the uh, website talentcenter.org does signing up for that and listing yourself there? Um, create a circumstance where an employer might contact you? Oh, yes, for sure. Oh, it does? Yes, yes it does. You do have the, uh, the employer does have the choice of, you know, we will receive applicants. As if you apply to the job that's uh, listed oh, really? on the job. Yes. So employers mm -hmm. are scanning for, for talent as they much can. as talent is scanning for a job. Uh, yes, of course. Yes, uh, it works both ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very similar to the Employee Florida Marketplace that we have for our general job seekers, uh -huh. but it's streamed Streamlined. It's um, it, it has a lot of different bells and whistles that speak directly to the professional job candidate and to the <laughs> employer that is looking for that candidate. So it's it is a next generation, if you will, uh, portal, and uh, it's it's really quite it's quite nice. You know, once, once in a while, I'll see a listing, and it's uh, it requires a um, a degree. And I'd be surprised at the degree, like a, a degree in journalism, for example, might be necessary for well, public relations and journalism sort of go hand in hand, so that's not a good example. But it's the two that don't seem related, um, is do, you, do you help maybe um, a coach a, a potential applicant so that they say, maybe you say to them, look, you've got a degree in this, did you know that that's perfect, perfect for this job? That doesn't seem connected. 
transferable skills. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that sure, fr- sure. that phrase. Yeah, Jerry, can you could you speak to what qualifies somebody to to be uh, considered a professional? To I mean, do you have criteria like with the professional networking group? We used to have criteria sure. for that. Sure. Well, for, well, first of all, we're looking for individuals that have a bachelor's degree or higher, oftentimes. Um, and if they have a bachelor's degree or higher, then we're going to be looking to work with them and help polish them up and market, uh, increase their marketability. For individuals that don't have the bachelor's but have an associate's degree with some years of experience in a management or supervisory role, uh, they will qualify as well uh, for us to be able to work with them. And that supervisory role could be in a business setting or more technical setting as well. You mentioned that it interfaces with the maps. Does that play a role in whether you hire somebody or not? Does does the employer say, wow, gosh, he lives in Gainesville, that's kind of far, or maybe, maybe Gainesville wouldn't be too far, but Georgia. He lives, he lives in Georgia. I mean, would that play a role? Well, I think it works both ways, too. It works for the, um, the career seeker that's looking for a job, uh, a you know where the job is, um, how you would apply for it, um, and, and it depends what the employer needs. But it, it does let you know, right? You know what? But if somebody was uh, being courted by a company, I, I would imagine that they would also be, you know, encouraged to move into the area. It would make sense, right? I've, I mean, we've all known everybody. That you probably had this happen for you in, in your life, Laura, where a, an employer will actually pay to move you. Yes. Uh, so, th- sure. do we have that here in our area? And, and and I'll just inject yeah. there. I mm-hmm. think it's on an employer-specific basis. I mean, I think we can generalize some trends, and that is that for many employers that are looking for what I'm going to say, a mid-level talent, a professional mid-level talent, oftentimes they're looking to hire locally. Mm-hmm. Okay, for um, employers that are looking for more specialized ty- uh, talent or higher-level talent, you know, oftentimes they're uh, more willing to kind of open up the gates a little bit. Uh, because really they want the best talent and so that's where oftentimes we'll find an employer that's more receptive to individuals that may be uh, located somewhere else in the state of Florida or even outside the state. True and and we've talked about the commuting patterns in our immediate area three county area and those county boundaries and area boundaries are artificial so we have people you know in Gainesville sure. that might, mm-hmm. the employer isn't necessarily worried about does the person live in Alachua or Chiefland or Ocala they want the best fit for their position Absolutely, and if yeah. the if the uh, um, uh, job seeker is willing to make that commute that happens all the time we see if you can go to our website careersourceclm.com to our resource libraries and take a look at the migration uh, commuter pattern reports for our whole area in our region and that happens constantly so uh, you know if you if you have a job and it's in Crystal River and you live in Ocala and you want it there's nothing that stops you yeah. if, if you're willing to be hired and vice versa. And I, I think we can add that for a lot of positions in today's environment, those mid-level to higher-level positions, then for a lot of employers, uh, it's not the daily commute. Sometimes there is a commute, but there's also work-at-home arrangements as well. So um, employers have a lot more flexibility in today's environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Laura, a lot of times the guests that you bring in, um, we pretty much direct the listeners to go to career source in order to deal with but in this case you go directly to talent talentcenter.org okay. mm-hmm. so d- directly to you guys and is it always through the internet or is it do, do you have people show up at your office across the street uh, oh yes we welcome that it's sure. certainly a combination of that we have a beautiful mm-hmm. setting and so we encourage individuals to pop in and take a look at that very business professional setting mm-hmm. um, but we also know that for a lot of individuals it's easy to connect with us online at talentcenter.org or okay. simply email us and uh, we'll follow up with that so we're talking about the health profession the, uh, the high-tech professions, um, anything in law enforcement uh, that you would handle? or uh, If it's a professional position that was required, uh-huh. yeah, we would. We okay. had some uh, it's our interns who were hired by FedEx in management positions. Is that right? So, wow. you know, it, 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 it works at any any type of professional position at any All right, very good. Uh, Jerry Phillips, nice to meet you. Thank, thank, thank you for you. coming in. Where's your, accent, where's your accent from? Oh, it's Irish. Irish! Yes, <laughs> it is. Do you, do you know, in this business, when I first started, you had to have no detectable regional dialect, and I oh, had a very strong New York accent. 
which I don't have it at all oh, anymore. Oh, not at no, all. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now they don't care. Now in radio, they want somebody with a different accent. Sounds good. Uh, Jerry Flanders, good to see you again. Thank you for see coming. You. And Laura Burns, as always, thank you. Uh, the website oh. for Career Source is careersourceclm.com and for the Talent Center, talentcenter.org. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Hey, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Officers going door to door to try and find the man who killed two Des Moines officers over.